so we have something to talk about for a minute. Five, four, do it. Three, just hit. Do it. Um, we're going to talk about um, not only Call of Duty raising the prices, but we're going to talk about a Pennsylvania legislator wants to pass a bill or a law or whatever where they can put a sin tax on video games. What? Alright, so the thing is, they want to do that and the reason why is because they feel like that video games create some type of violence, right? I don't think that's true. Like, I'm not going to be playing Grand Theft Auto and believing that, I'm sorry, my mic is in the way. I'm not going to be playing a video game and thinking, oh, I want to kill somebody. I understand it's a video game. And plus, the argument is, if you're going to put a sin tax on it, do it for children. Like, if you see parents taking their kids to go buy a game, put a sin tax on that. That's understandable. They shouldn't be buying that mature game for a younger audience. Okay, cool. But to say that it puts violent thoughts in adults, tax paying adults to just buy this game to play it, they don't think about killing somebody, it's just a game they understand it's violent, but it's a video game, it's a virtual world. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be treated as such. Don't put a syntax on a video game. It's completely ridiculous and whoever, if this law passes or if it's already passed, it's fucking stupid. Honestly, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, and they've been doing this for years. Taking video games and trying to attach it to school shooters. Trying to attach it to um, violent acts in society. Because apparently a video game... It, here's my thing. If you are already a violent person and you play a video game or see a violent movie or see something that will trigger something in you, you already had it in you. It was, all, it was already mentally in your mind to do that or had the idea to do it. And then you have something that inspires you to do so. For someone like me who has not a hateful bone in my body and wouldn't want to kill somebody, come on. I'm not going to play Grand Theft Auto and all of a sudden say, oh my god, I want to go blow up a whole fucking mall. Like, come on, dude. Like, it's it's out of there. This is completely, it's completely, <laughs> this makes no sense. Like, when I see it, I'm like, how in the hell, who, who came up with this? And who allowed it to even get that far in the media? Like, someone who was next to this legislature said, oh no, this is a, this is a, this is a bad idea. It's so stupid. Syntax on kids, I understand. Um, but kids play games all the time, and I'm sure kids don't think about going to kill somebody. Now, the argument they can make with kids is that their brains are not fully developed, so they're at a point where they don't know completely from right from wrong. They're not at that point where they can actually make rational decisions, and they can believe that, they, like, it, it, let me give you an example. So. If a kid breaks a window, you cannot explain to a kid why that's wrong and why that's right because their brains are not fully developed to understand at that point. So I understand if you show them a video game where there's people are being shot, even though all the people they're around doesn't do that, they may be inspired and say, oh, there's something different I've never seen. A kid could be impressionable to that sort of gaming content or anything for that matter, like a movie, um, stuff like that. So, I, could, I guess there's an argument for kids, but when it comes to adults, no an adult already has it in their head because they can think rationally, remember? So, come on, that this law is completely outrageous, not well thought of, and they try to use bullshit research to like back it up, these scientists. But think about all the, think about it like this. If this was true, that it makes people violent, don't you think there would be way more school shootings? Don't you think there would be way more, like, murders? Like, bad shit happening? Because there's a lot of gamers that play violent games. Me, and myself. And I've never thought a day in my life, never a day in my life to go out and just kill somebody. 
or make harm. It, it's never popped up in my head. And if that's the case for adults, it is legal to hunt in Pennsylvania. They kill living things, yes. And you say, oh, those animals are killing them for food, okay. They still kill a living thing and cut it up. If you want to make the argument that it makes people violent, you could make the argument that hunting makes a hunt, like a hunter desensitized to killing living things to the point to where they can actually kill a human so they can see what that bullet can do to a human being. But I doubt hunters think that way. Give up the syntax. It's stupid, it's dumb, and I hope someone sees this as retarded. Don't ever put that shit out there. You look like a fucking idiot when you make <laughs> when you make laws like this. It makes no sense. It, it, it literally makes no sense when I see it. So anyone who, who can think with a level-headed brain can understand, can understand that violent video games don't make people do violent things. People with violent thoughts do violent things. Bad people. They're everywhere. Video games are not. Anyways, early natives, I hope you join the channel and subscribe. Make sure you check out the merch. Make sure you follow me on all my social media social <laughs> social medias. And thank you so much for watching man. And um, peace.